Well, good morning. We, uh, we made it to Salem, Iowa. We, uh, we originally had an Iowa 80 truck stop punched in. And um, I told Lita, I was like, let's, just go, let's go ahead and call this guy. Or, actually, you looked up the address and it showed a house. And I was like, let's call this guy, see what's going on. This isn't supposed to go to a house. So we called the guy. Uh, wrong address. They gave us the wrong address. Yeah, but like I said, the address they gave us, pulled it up, it's still a house. It's supposed to be a gravel road off of a main road that you have to drive down about a mile. It's supposed to be a giant farm. Anyways, um... He's like, uh, when do you guys plan on being here? Like, Wednesday after the storm? I was like, Wednesday after... What storm? He said, there's a big storm coming in. I'm like, oh, no. We didn't even check the weather. I mean, it's like 90 degrees in weather. Or 90 degrees in Georgia. So you just assume winter's over with. But right here, right now, is 29 degrees. And they're supposed to be having a giant storm come through. Uh, Sunday at about lunchtime. So today's Saturday... Um, I'm going to try to get it in today or Sunday morning and drop Sunday morning and be done. What are we going to do about the storm? I have no idea. I had no idea it was going to storm. Um, man, what were we thinking? We just, we just weren't thinking that there would, I wasn't thinking that there would still be weather. Yeah. It's still winter. Up yeah, here. it's still winter. That's for sure. I'm kind of excited for the snow, but at the same time, like, I don't want to have to unload these things off of ramps if it's uh, blizzarding outside. It's supposed to be, he said it's going to be a pretty bad storm. So, I don't know. We're just at a little gas station slash, uh, they let trucks park here along the shoulder here. Um, they're supposed to have decent food in there. Maybe, maybe we'll get some food in here, Babs. Aren't, aren't they like freshly made breakfast sandwiches? Yeah. Ours would be freshly made. Yeah, but we would be supporting a place that allowed us to park. You know what I mean? They're supposed to have a Philly cheesesteak sandwich too that everybody's talking about in the comments. Yeah, I don't know. Like the reviews were like, the Philly cheesesteak is not that good. Even though people are talking about how good the Philly cheesesteak yeah. is. Yeah. said this place is expensive. Oh, really? I don't know. All right, let's walk these. Uh, let's walk these dogs, and uh, we're gonna hit the road. All right, I went with the uh, with the trucker's omelet here. What'd you get? The mess. The mess. What'd you guys get? Dog food. Oh, I'm sorry, fat butts. So it was like 11 something, right? Yeah. That was like 11 something? Yeah. Oh no, mine was five. Five dollars for that? Yeah. What did they do, just scrape the stuff off, off the sides? No. Yeah. I got the small. The large was seven. Hmm. That's a lot of food. Yeah. All right, breakfast was good. Uh, GPS says we have seven hours left, that we, that we should get there at like five o'clock. Guy said he would unload us at night if he had to. So he's also supposed to be checking on, I uh, guess there's a couple of docks in town. And uh, he was gonna go check with some people to see if we were gonna use their dock. Um, just in case we do, it, just in case it does look like it's gonna, we're gonna catch the snow. That way it's not like slipping and sliding off the uh, ramps. It's usually not too bad coming down but if we can unload on a dock, that would be, uh, that would definitely be best. And then I can't decide, like, since we'll be unloading either Saturday or tomorrow, Sunday, um, there were a couple of decent loads um, that I seen for Monday as we were on our way to pick these up. Of course, they're gone now. So it's like, now what, now what do we do? Do we, like stay up there in the storm or do we uh just try to deadhead out i don't know how big the storm is do you pretty big. oh it's pretty big so like we won't be able to like just drive south a little bit and get out of it I don't think so. oh so it sounds like we're going to be in the snowstorm 
I told Lita, we should just go park somewhere and rent some uh, snowmobiles. Because it's supposed to last till like Wednesday, right? Yeah. I mean, that would be, that would be fun. We gotta make some money. We gotta make some money? All right, so we're gonna start selling Lita's feet pictures. Um, there'll be a link in the description. <laughs> she says we gotta make money, so we gotta uh, we gotta make money, right, Babs? Just can't sit around. What if I take pictures of my feet and tell them it's your feet? Oh, she said just take pictures of my feet and tell you guys it's my feet. I don't think they want pictures of my feet. Oh, you think so? Well, all right. So, kind of stinks that we didn't get to, get to go by the Iowa 80. I was I was thinking about doing the 30, the 34 there, but I had no idea there was a storm coming in. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. We got seven hours of drive time. Probably going to be there in eight hours because I drive slow. And then we'll have to see uh, what we can get into from there. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure where to go or what to do. There was another flare side that was for sale in South Carolina that I've been talking back and forth to, um, and uh, I went to look at it again last night. He sold it, so that's a bummer. It was, uh, I believe, it was a '92 with the 302. Really good-looking truck. Um, but he said it had a blown head gasket, which I mean, I'm super familiar with the 302 351s. So I could have probably done it with my eyes closed, but uh, I just, I guess I just drug my feet, you know? Damn, look at that house up there. I guess you guys can't see it though. There is a lot of like barn dominiums around now where people build these big metal buildings and then they incorporate their house into it and it's a house and a shop especially um in tennessee where we were uh did we, we where we dropped um what did we drop oh those lifts those scissor lifts <laughs> i can't remember what we've already done all right anyways let's get some miles in and uh, we'll see you guys there So uh, we are in Blue Earth, Minnesota, just grabbing some fuel at a quick trip. <laughs> I 
I couldn't remember what it was called. Um, last time we were at a quick trip, um, I did a little walkthrough and I showed uh, some cinnamon rolls. And somebody in the comments was like, hey, Robert, you need to try out the cinnamon rolls because they're good. These are the cinnamon rolls. Look at how much icing's on there. I don't <laughs> know if I'll be able to eat that icing. That's going to be a bit much. I mean, I'll try it. That's a lot of icing. These were the least covered in icing. So, we're about two and a half hours away from our drop. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we'll stick around there. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of parking around there's there. There's nothing huh? there. No, no truck stop or anything. So we might have to drive a bit to find somewhere to park. Um, I did see a load going down to, I think the Kansas City area. Yeah. That area isn't really good either, but I'm gonna try something a little bit different this time out. I went over my uh, cost per mile. I sat down and looked at all that again. I'm gonna try not to be as picky and see see how we end up doing overall. Like I said, this one paid two, this, these trucks paid 250 a mile. The load that got us out from the house was 250 a mile. Um, my cost per mile to run was uh, to make, so I haven't figured out, I meant to bring the paperwork. Uh, depending on what fuel, how much uh, per mile we get and I have it figured out with different um, costs per gallon. And then I have it figured out differently, like if I make, if I profit for myself uh, 2,000 a week, or if I profit for myself for 2,500 a week. So at the higher fuel cost and the 2,000 a week, as long as I make two, what did I say, 217 a mile? I thought it was like 213. No, I think it's 217 a mile. At 217 a mile, as long as we do, I think I have it figured up for 100,000 miles a year. If I do at least 217 a mile uh, after fuel and, and expenses and everything, I should still clear 2,000 a week. Which is disgusting, I know. Uh, a business. An owner operator should be able to make a lot more than that just because, I mean, truck drivers in general should make more money because we're away from our families and, and stuff all the time. And then if you're an owner operator, the amount of paperwork and the stuff that you have to deal with <laughs> is crazy. They're gonna change it all again too. They're doing away with MC numbers. They're doing away with MC numbers? I haven't heard that. What are you talking about, woman? Yeah. They're, they are in the process of going to just DOT numbers for brokers, carriers, because... I wish they'd stop focusing on the trucks and focus more on the brokerage. Well, it's... I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, brokers are making too much money. Look, if you're dumb enough to take a load and, and, and they make more than you do on the load, then that's your fault. But, like, the amount of, like, fly-by-night brokers that are screwing over drivers... Like, this load right here... We were supposed to be paid when we picked up. And now we can't get them to respond, right? And I'm going to let the guy know when we go to drop off today, bro, we haven't been paid. I might just make this guy pay us. No, you can't. It, sa it says specifically on It also the said specifically on. that we were going to get paid on pickup. That doesn't say it. I mean, I don't know, dude. You sent me the Raycon. I'll read it to you. It, all, it just says we can't talk about... It says, um, broker pay carrier time immediately. Yeah. Okay. But underneath that, it says we can't talk about. Once pay. the load is secured, take pictures and share them with the team before leaving the pickup location. Otherwise, we will not process a payment to you. So we need to find out if they've processed a payment. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't care. I don't care about this brokerage, dude. Their credit is bad. That's why we can't factor through them. So they're like, we'll pay you upon pickup. Well, guess what? We've already picked up, and it's like they haven't gotten back to us about our payment yet. <laughs> really? Yeah. We're gonna try some of these uh, cinnamon rolls. 
Normally we would throw them in the uh, air fryer and warm them up, but they've got that icing on it. And the icing would probably like melt. Yeah, that one's big. That's what she said. Does it, I mean, are they soft? Is it something yeah, we're gonna be able to? It's soft. Got it? Ooh, it is soft, isn't it? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's rich. You're probably gonna have to scrape that off. Oh, yeah? Oh, it's hard, too. That's what she said. Ah. Yeah, maybe just like spread some around and throw the rest away. Oh, that's too much, man. Diabetes. Good morning. I'm Wilfred Brimley and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about diabetes. What do you want, what do you want me to do? Here. Most of it, we'll just toss that out. Oh my God, that's so much broth. I know, dude. Why Are you guys I actually eat? eating that stuff? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was all right. It'd probably be better warmed up. Yeah. It's like a lot of bread, but not a lot of... Inside of it needs some of that icing or something, you know? Not from mine. What do you mean? Icing? That's the same thing, the weirdo. I said some of my icing. Just put it on the inside. No, no. Weirdo? I'm saying when they were making them. Yeah, it's kind of uh, it's kind of dry on the inside, you know. That's why they have so much icing on them. Because they knew they were going to be dry. <clears throat> yeah. Man, the icing is just—it's too sweet, man. I don't know. They're all right. I think the ones that we make ourselves we'll are, way, are way better. We'll try and heat it up. Yeah. Try to heat one up in the morning for breakfast or something. All right. We have made it. It is uh, 6.20. 6.20, it's starting to flurry. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up on it. Get these bad boys unloaded. Actually, we have to wait for the broker to tell us it's okay to unload it. That's one of the things. I guess they wanted to make sure they got payment before we took these things off. Pretty, uh, pretty nice little outfit they got going on here. I don't know what they farm, but some nice uh, 
some nice buildings here. Ooh, it's cold. I might need my jacket too. Yeah, let me start dumping the air in these bags. I'll grab my jacket. We'll get these things unloaded. All right, it's starting to come down. We're unloaded. I'm gonna let this thing air up. Lee just gotta take some pictures over here. They said they're gonna get, uh, they're supposed to get two feet of snow in the next couple days. So, that's a lot of snow. They do uh, soybeans. Um, I can't remember what they said. Soybeans and two other type of beans, I think. Sugar beans or something. Uh, I don't even know. All right, well, I think we're good. Got him? Yeah. All right. He says it. He's, he said stuff. He said stuff? He said stuff. I don't know how we, like, check that, though. See what I mean? Yeah. Did you hear they said they were going to get two feet? Yeah. I mean, they might be getting two feet, but you're going to be getting three inches. <laughs> He said we could just go out that driveway. Okay. Yeah, look, you can see the snow is coming in. Yeah. We gotta get out of here. All right. We're gonna uh, find us a place where we can go park and sit out a blizzard because if they're actually getting two feet, Watch out, five bucks. I don't know if we'll be doing anything the next uh, couple days. Well, today's Saturday. So we dropped this Saturday. We picked this up Friday, dropped it Saturday. We gotta figure out where we're going. There's a uh, there's a uh, place. Oh, I don't know if they had a uh, showers though. Details. That doesn't say anything about showers. A Cenex? Yeah. Nope, it doesn't show showers. Yeah. Well, they're gonna be closed too. It says the hours are like. Oh. Well, that's a bummer. So we've got a pilot shop. We've got a pi hey. I'm trying to talk here. We got a pilot shower saved up, and we've got uh, uh, mine. Don't show Walmart's. For, well, we can't. Well, we can't park there. I mean, we can't get a shower at a Walmart. Quick, yeah. there's a quick trip. We got a quick trip shower too. Uh, ATM, bulk def, paved lot. Oh, this one has showers. Uh, this roadies Donner's Crossroad truck stop. Uh, it's north of here. It's a holiday store, so you know what to expect. 
for food, nice open lot, pretty easy to find parking. All right, so we uh, we moved down the road about 10 miles. This was the uh, closest truck stop that is supposed to have showers. I think we're in Clara. Hold on, girls. Stop pulling me. Hold on. Hold on. Um, where does it say we are? Hold on. Stop pulling. Uh, Clara City, Minnesota at a uh, roadies donners crossroads but this sign says holiday maybe uh maybe roadie donners um went out of business um there's not much around here there's absolutely nothing around here i don't even know if they have a restaurant in town which kind of stinks maybe i'll uh see if they have doordash or uber eats or something around here probably not though what we may end up doing is just, uh, maybe this is a bar? No, I think they just sell alcohol here. Is uh, we'll just um, take a shower, stay here for the night, and then, um, hold on girls, let's wait for this car. And then we'll move, maybe we'll move somewhere else tomorrow. Especially after we have a shower. The main reason for being here is the shower. If there's a, a Walmart or something down the road with some restaurants around, maybe we'll move to that. Anyways, let me walk these dogs. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab our shower tonight. Looks like they got some kind of a plant over there with a bunch of trucks loading up. All right, we'll see you guys later. So we're uptown here now, looking for somewhere to eat. It showed that there was a tavern over here and a bar over there. When you look it up, it's two different names, but the same exact reviews. So I'm thinking the tavern's no longer around. And yeah, so it looks like we're going to the bar. They got a Subway. Sponsor me, Subway. I like your breakfast sandwiches. And sometimes your cookies. I'm a little burnt out on the white macadamia nut a little. Well, no, I tell you what. Subway's is still good. It's the Walmart ones that aren't as great. Yeah. All right, let's walk down here to this bar. This humongous town. Look at all these people going or walking around. This place is bumping. I got my, uh, my nice jacket on that I bought at Goodwill. <laughs> oh, I got my Scotty Kramer hoodie on too i think this lens is a little dirty dirty my lips are frozen okay. took a shower seven bucks what read that with that sign you can't read that we've moved yeah. 141st street who knows who knows the bar's open though Oh. 
yeah. Anyways, if you've never heard me say it before, thanks for watching. Bye.